Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the growing family, we're trying to reach 10k by the end of the year, I know we can do it, and so please hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, back a comment, and give me a thumbs up, because why not? Today we're going to go over suicide warning signs. So first we're going to go talking about wanting to die, guilt and shame, being a burden to others, and then we have feeling, feeling empty, hopeless, trapped, having no reason to live, extremely sad, more anxious, agitated and full of rage, unbearable emotional or physical pain, and changing behaviours, which include making a plan, researching how to die, withdrawing from friends and saying goodbye, giving away important items, or making a will, all things I've done, taking dangerous risks such as driving extremely fast, displaying extreme mood swings, eating or sleeping more or less, using drugs or alcohol more often, high risk warning signs, threaten to hurt or take their own life, talk or write about death, dying and suicide, actively looking for ways they can kill themselves, such as stockpiling tablets, a sudden sense of calm, a sudden sense of calm and happiness after being extremely depressed can mean a person's made the decision to attempt suicide. I just want to say that even if you don't experience these symptoms, you're still valid. No one is denying you your- Personally, I can relate to a lot of what I just read out because I've done it. I've made a will. I've got it signed by lawyers. Suicide is not something that we shouldn't talk about. In fact, we need to talk about it more because it happens, what is it, every 30 seconds? 40 seconds? Someone dies by suicide? Someone attempts suicide? That's fucking ridiculous. We need to come together on this and actually work together. People are struggling and when you're suicidal, you can't see a way out of it. We need to make a way out of it that doesn't include hospitalisation because being in hospital can make you just as suicidal as being out of hospital. Honestly, it's just a question of what would you do in that situation? Which is why I want to say this, my DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram. If anyone needs to talk, then rant, or just wants someone to have a conversation with. My social media is linked in the description down below. I will also put it on screen if I can work that out. Suicide is something that happens too often and I know right now that on my Instagram there are countless people that are in hospital because they attempted suicide. My last attempt at suicide was last May. Oh, I got discharged on the 6th of June. So I was in for May. And what that means is they basically kept me in until I wasn't suicidal anymore. It is what it is. Did that help me? I wasn't trying to kill myself both after four weeks. But we need to take a stand. Join, join each other, connect with each other, and fight the system that is letting everybody down. People need more mental health support, not less. So what the government's doing just doesn't make sense. There needs to be more money in mental health and in the NHS. Thank you for watching, and if you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.